Do you know about the most exceptional scientists from your country? We're about to reveal the top 100 scientists of all time. Let's discover how many of them hail from your country. Each one of these scientists has a special story of discovering new things and making the world a better place. Their stories are full of curiosity, discovery, and making history. Please feel free to utilize chapter section of this video, if you are keen on learning about the top scientists from your respective country only. Scientist number one on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. Hailing from Australia, we chose one exceptional scientist to be included in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. This distinguished individual goes by the name of Howard Walter Florey. He was a brilliant scientist who made significant contributions to medicine. Born in Australia in 1898, Florey's journey to becoming a medical pioneer began with his interest in science. He studied at the University of Adelaide, where he excelled in his studies. Later, he moved to England for further education and research. Florey's most famous achievement came during World War II when he and his team played a crucial role in the development and mass production of penicillin, the world's first widely used antibiotic. Their work saved countless lives by treating bacterial infections that were previously difficult to cure. Florey's dedication to scientific research and his groundbreaking work in the field of medicine have left a lasting impact, and he is remembered as one of the key figures in the history of medical advancements. Howard Walter Florey's legacy extends beyond his groundbreaking work on penicillin. After the war, he continued to contribute to medical research and education. Florey became a professor at the University of Oxford, where he shared his knowledge and mentored aspiring scientists. His efforts earned him numerous awards and honors, including the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1945, which he shared with Sir Alexander Fleming and Sir Ernst Boris Chain for their collective contributions to the development of penicillin. Florey's life serves as an inspiring example of how scientific curiosity, dedication, and collaboration can lead to transformative breakthroughs that benefit humanity. His work laid the foundation for the widespread use of antibiotics, revolutionizing medicine and improving the quality of life for people around the world. Scientist number two on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Austria, we have selected two exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Gregor Mendel. He is known by everyone as the father of genetics. His plant experiments revealed the secrets of how traits are passed down from parents to children. People were curious about genetics for a long time, but no one really looked into it until Mendel did in the 1850s. This is surprising because even back in the 1730s, Carl Linnaeus used traits to group plants and animals together. If he had studied how those traits worked, he would have been known for both taxonomy and genetics. Despite this, Mendel deserves all the credit he got for genetics. He became interested when he saw different plants and animals having different traits. He started studying mice and bees, but the bishop in charge didn't like the idea of friars working on what he called, animal sex. So, Mendel turned to studying plants, comparing things like heights and flower colors. He used simple math to analyze his findings and found that the traits of future generations could be predicted because they were so consistent. Mendel's methods and conclusions were groundbreaking. They opened the door to the amazing world of genetics that we find fascinating today. His laws of heredity were so ahead of their time that people didn't fully appreciate them until long after he passed away. Besides genetics, Mendel also studied astronomy and weather. In fact, he wrote more about weather than genetics and even started Austria's Meteorological Society. Scientist number three on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Austria on our list is Lise Meitner. She was born on the same day as another great female scientist, Marie Curie, even though she was 11 years younger. Like Curie, Meitner faced challenges as a woman in the field of science. She became the first woman in Germany to be a physics professor, but lost her position when the Nazis took control. Working with Otto Hahn, Meitner made significant contributions to the study of radioactivity and radiochemistry. Later, she collaborated with her nephew, Otto Frisch, to understand nuclear reactors and atomic bombs. Despite her crucial role, she faced discrimination as a woman with Jewish heritage. In 1944, the Nobel Committee awarded the prize only to Otto Hahn, overlooking Meitner and others. This decision was criticized years later. 
In 1949, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry recognized Meitner and Hahn as the discoverers of protactinium. Meitner corresponded with notable scientists like Niels Bohr, James Chadwick, Fritz Haber, and Leo Szilard. She received numerous awards during her lifetime and posthumously. In 1997, the element Meitnerium was named in her honor. Several geographical features, including a lunar crater, a Venusian crater, and an asteroid, also bear her name. Scientist number 4 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. Hailing from Belgium, we've selected one exceptional scientist for our roster of the top 100 scientists of all time. The distinguished individual in question is none other than Andreas Vesalius. He was a surgeon as well as a teacher at a university. He studied the human body and made important discoveries about how it works. Vesalius learned from other great scientists who came before him, like Galen of Pergamon. He took their ideas, improved them, and sometimes proved them wrong. He believed in using real human bodies to study anatomy, instead of just looking at pictures. Unlike Galen, who studied animals, Vesalius used human bodies for all his research. He often worked in secret and was one of the first scientists to study the human circulatory system. He also looked closely at skeletons, the nervous system, muscles, and the digestive system. Because of his discoveries, Vesalius became famous. He even became the personal doctor to the Holy Roman Emperor, Charles V. This emperor ruled over Spain and the Habsburg Netherlands. Vesalius wrote important books about anatomy, like, De Humani Corporis Fabrica, which covered many aspects of the human body. He also wrote about where to cut veins for medical procedures in a book called, Epistola, Docens Venum Axillarum Dextri Cubiti in Dolor Lateralis Secandum. People remember Vesalius as one of the founders of human anatomy, along with Jacques Dubois, Jean Fernel, and Gabriele Fallopio. In 1543, during a visit to Switzerland, Vesalius got permission to keep the skeleton of a person named Jakob von Gebweiler. This skeleton, known as the Basel skeleton, is one of the oldest human anatomical specimens. Today, there's even a lunar crater named after Andreas Vesalius, showing how important his contributions to the study of the human body were. Scientist number 5 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. Originating from China, we have selected seven outstanding scientists to feature in our compilation of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first distinguished figure is identified as Zheng Heng. Zhang Heng was a versatile expert who made significant contributions in various fields of science. His impact was widespread, touching areas such as mathematics, mechanics, astronomy, seismology, geography, and cartography. Even the renowned Liu Wei drew inspiration from Zhang Heng's works. Beyond the scientific realm, Zhang Heng's poems and other artistic creations benefited many ancient scholars who weren't inclined towards science. He was among the earliest scientists to systematically explain solar and lunar eclipses. Zhang Heng was also a pioneer in proposing that moonlight is not generated by the moon but is simply a reflection of sunlight. He improved mathematical formulas and came up with better approximations for constants like pi. One of his notable engineering feats was creating the first water-powered armillary sphere, providing enhanced cosmic insights. Zhang Heng also invented the first known seismoscope, a highly sensitive device that accurately detected the direction of earthquakes occurring hundreds of kilometers away. He is credited with reinventing the odometer and the famous Chinese south-pointing chariot. Beyond his scientific achievements, Zhang Heng made erudite contributions to administration, ethics, literature, and philosophy. During his lifetime, Zhang Heng wielded considerable influence, and his impact endured long after his death. His works inspired scholars both in the East and the West. Several celestial objects and scientific discoveries are named in his honor, including the Chang Heng lunar crater, the 1802 Zhang Heng asteroid, the Zhang Heng One satellite, and Zhang Hengite a golden yellow mineral mainly composed of copper, zinc, iron, aluminum, and chromium. Scientist number 6 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from China on our list is Liu Wei. He was a really smart guy in ancient China, and many experts think he was the best mathematician there. Even though he was really into geodesy and geometry, fancy math about earth and shapes, he also improved other parts of math like algebra, arithmetic, and metrology during his time. 
He built on the great work of Zhang Heng. People praised him for bringing negative numbers into math, improving the value of pi, and doing cool stuff with plane and solid geometry. He was also known for his notes and corrections to a famous math book called Zhou Zhang Xuanshu, the nine chapters on the mathematical art, which had been around for many generations. One of his well-respected writings, Heidao Xuanjing, the Sea Island Mathematical Manual, was like an extra chapter for Zhou Zhang Xuanshu. Liu Wei was so clever that he came up with advanced methods for making maps, doing surveys, and engineering. Some of these techniques, like Gaussian elimination and Cavallari's principle, were way ahead of their time. Europeans didn't learn about them until 1300 years later. Liu Hui's brilliance didn't just stay in China, it spread to neighboring countries like India, Korea, and Japan. Merchants and scholars from the Middle East, who traveled to the Far East, brought back versions of his writings. Muhammad al khwarizmi translated and shared some of these works, which then reached Europe thanks to Leonardo Fibonacci during his medieval travels. The ideas in Liu Hui's writings not only enlightened Europeans but also played a big role in starting important projects during the Renaissance. So, you could say that Liu Hui's smart ideas continued to influence Europe and the world for more than a thousand years after he passed away. Scientist number 7 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from China on our list is Zhu Changzi. In ancient times, a significant part of science revolved around mathematics. While Europe was in the Dark Ages, Asia produced outstanding mathematicians, and one of the most remarkable figures was Zhu Changzi also spelled Su Chengxi. Even as a child, Zhu showed incredible intelligence and was sent to the prestigious Hualun Shuisheng Academy before attending the well-regarded Imperial Nanjing University. His academic excellence, particularly in mathematics, laid the foundation for his future work in astronomy. Zhu's mathematical skills proved crucial in his research on time, allowing him to calculate time values with unprecedented accuracy. For instance, his calculation of a year as 365.2428148 days is very close to the contemporary value of 365.2421988 days. Similarly, his prediction of the overlaps between the Sun and Moon, at 27.21223, closely aligns with the modern value of 27.21222, enabling accurate eclipse predictions. His computation of Jupiter's year, 11.8580 Earth years, was only off by a tiny margin of 0.004 Earth year. Besides building on Liu Hui's contributions, Zhu Changzi made notable advancements, including resolving the volume of a sphere and calculating pi so accurately that his approximation became the standard for almost a thousand years. He also ventured into mechanical engineering, reinventing Ma Jun's south-pointing chariot. In collaboration with his son, Zhu Zhengzi, he authored the famous, though now lost, math treatise called Zhu Yi Shu. Zhu Changji's name is honored in various mathematical concepts, ranging from pi ratio to encryption algorithms. He is also commemorated by the 1888 Zhu Changji asteroid and the 28-kilometer-wide Su Chengkai lunar crater. The fourth luminary from China on our list is Shen Kuo. He was an incredibly versatile and productive individual. As a polymath, he delved into a wide range of interests, spanning mathematics, astronomy, biology, geology, pharmacology, optics, magnetism, hydraulics, and agriculture. Despite his full-time bureaucratic roles, he dedicated considerable time to research and publishing. Notably, he authored one of the earliest known works describing the magnetic compass, an improvement upon Ma Jun and Zhu Changji's south-pointing chariot. Shen Kuo's treatises weren't limited to scientific subjects, he also explored literature, music, philosophy, and governance. His strong foundation in geometry was detailed and exceptional, with applications in solving astronomical problems that contributed to the improvement of trigonometry. Guo Shoujing later used Kuo's works on circle arc lengths as the basis for enhancing spherical trigonometry almost two centuries after Kuo's passing. In pharmacology, Shen Kuo extensively documented the preparation and administration of various drugs, including information on their contraindications. He also made significant contributions to geological evaluations, focusing on rock types and fossilized sediments. His insights extended to biology and agriculture, with documentation on using predatory arthropods as pest controllers. Shen Kuo's multidisciplinary approach made him an outstanding polymath, 
contributing significantly to the advancement of Asian arts and sciences. In recognition of his contributions, several items, including the 2027 Shen Guo asteroid, were named after him. Unfortunately, most of his publications, including maps and charts, did not survive to the present day. Scientist number 9 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fifth luminary from China on our list is Qin Zhushao. Qin Zhushao, a remarkable figure in the mathematical sciences, made substantial contributions from algebra to arithmetic and down to geometry. He is considered among the most gifted experts in these fields. Qin's exceptional work on modular arithmetic, particularly the influential Chinese remainder theorem, has stood the test of time for over 700 years. Its adoption in Europe even helped solve problems that challenged prominent mathematicians like Leonard Euler. Delving into polynomials, Qin extended his explorations to quartic and quintic equations, the latter being proven algebraically unsolvable using finite operations, an insight later affirmed by Niels Henrik Abel and Evariste Galois. Qin Zhushao's prowess extended to astronomy, where his narratives provided insights into deriving solstice and other astronomical data from traditional lunisolar calendars. Noteworthy in Chinese mathematics, Qin introduced the zero symbol and demonstrated expertise in finding sums of arithmetic series. His skills were evident in dissecting the Ruffini-Horner method, revealed more than 500 years before its rediscovery in 19th century Europe by Paolo Ruffini and William Horner. In geometry, he independently rediscovered Heron's formula, and in meteorology, he developed the Tianxi Basin, an instrument used for evaluating precipitations. Despite losing most of his publications, survivors like Xu Xu Zhouzhang, the mathematical treatise in nine sections, showcased Jin's extensive research in applied mathematics, civil engineering, architecture, and surveying. Qin Zhushao's achievements are even more impressive when considering that he pursued science and mathematics as hobbies while maintaining a career as a bureaucrat. Scientist number 10 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The sixth luminary from China on our list is Zhu Shiji. He was an exceptionally talented mathematician from China known for his sharp intellect and versatility. His groundbreaking work on multivariate polynomials and innovative methods for solving linear equations continue to be highly regarded. Over a period of two decades, Zhu traveled extensively across China and its neighboring regions, sharing his knowledge and mentoring numerous students, which greatly contributed to the advancement of Chinese mathematics. His influential books, An Introduction to Mathematical Studies, and The True Reflections of the Four Unknowns, expanded upon the principles established in the renowned nine chapters on the mathematical art. These works became immensely popular, even outside of China, and were integrated into the educational curricula of neighboring countries due to their high standards and engaging illustrations. Centuries later, Jews' methodologies continued to inspire mathematicians like Blaise Pascal and William Horner. Additionally, Zhu played a significant role in uniting the diverse mathematical traditions of northern and southern China by combining their strengths. Although Zhu is celebrated as a beloved teacher, his contributions extended far beyond mathematics to fields such as engineering, geography, geology, surveying, architecture, and agriculture. His legacy remains deeply imprinted in the history of Chinese intellectualism. Scientist number 11 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The seventh luminary from China on our list is Li Shijun. China boasts the world's oldest continuous medical tradition, with a rich history of innovative methodologies and renowned practitioners of oriental medicine. Li Shijun stands out among these luminaries as a remarkable polymath who revolutionized pharmaceutics and pharmacology. Devoting three decades to his craft, he extensively explored therapeutic options, supplements, and alternatives, fundamentally reshaping pharmacognosa by meticulously isolating and categorizing hundreds of medicinal plants. His monumental work, Ben Sao Gangmu, Compendium Materia Medica, spans 53 volumes and contains nearly 1,900 entries, documenting around 1,100 herbs with detailed descriptions of their characteristics, uses, and potential side effects. This exhaustive reference remains unparalleled in the annals of traditional Chinese medicine, making it the most comprehensive publication of its kind. Beyond herbal medicine, Li Shijun enriched Ben Sao Gangmu, with sections covering a wide array of scientific disciplines including logic, cartography, geodesy, geology, biology, mineralogy, chemistry, and astronomy, ensuring its enduring value as a treasure trove of knowledge.
Li's contributions have earned Bensao Gangmu, a place as one of the oldest and most esteemed encyclopedias still in circulation, translated into approximately 20 languages and disseminated across all continents. Additionally, his diverse publications encompassed subjects ranging from history, metallurgy, acupuncture, and agriculture, to nutrition. Among his many achievements, Li Shijun is renowned for his early investigations into gallstones and for pioneering the use of ephedra sinica as a nasal decongestant. His legacy extends beyond his writings, with various items, including the multicolored mineral Li Shijunite, ZNF E2, SO4, 4, 14, H2O, named in his honor, immortalizing his profound impact on medicine and science. Scientist number 12 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. Originating from Denmark, we have selected two outstanding scientists to feature in our compilation of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first distinguished figure is identified as Hans Christian Ørsted. Hans Christian Ørsted, brother to Danish Prime Minister Anders Sando Ørsted, played a significant role during the Danish Golden Age from 1800 to 1850. Influenced by the philosophical ideas of Immanuel Kant regarding the unity of nature, Ørsted believed in the interconnectedness of natural phenomena. This belief led him to explore the relationship between electricity and magnetism, inspired by the theories of German scientist Johann Wilhelm Ritter. Through his experiments, Ørsted discovered that electric currents could generate magnetic fields, a groundbreaking observation that came to be known as Ørsted's Law. This discovery marked the birth of electromagnetism and spurred further scientific inquiry into the fields of electricity and magnetism. Ørsted's work laid the foundation for André-Marie Ampère's formulation of magnetic forces between electric currents, as well as the development of Maxwell's equations, which are fundamental principles in classical electrodynamics, along with Faraday's law and Lorentz's force law. Beyond his contributions to physics, Ørsted also collaborated with chemist Humphrey Davy in advancing research in chemistry. His legacy is honored through various means, including the naming of Denmark's first satellite after him. Additionally, the unit of auxiliary magnetic field in the centimeter-gram second system of units, the Ørsted, is named in recognition of his significant contributions to science. Scientist number 13 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second distinguished figure is identified as Niels Bohr. Niels Bohr, a distinguished student of Ernest Rutherford, emerged as a prominent figure in the scientific community, collaborating with renowned scientists such as Joseph J. Thompson, Max Planck, James Chadwick, and Werner Heisenberg. Throughout his career, he also mentored several notable individuals, including Hendrik Kramers, Lev Landau, and Israt Usmani. Building upon Rutherford's atomic model, Bohr incorporated Planck's quantum theory to address the issue of atomic stability left unresolved by his predecessor. Recognizing the inadequacy of classical laws to explain atomic behavior, Bohr proposed a solution that equated the energy of electrons in their orbits around the nucleus with Planck's constant. This groundbreaking insight suggested that electrons transition between energy levels when atoms absorb or release energy, a concept fundamental to quantum mechanics. Upon publishing his findings in 1913, Bohr's ideas initially faced skepticism from scientists grappling with the complexities of quantum theory. However, his work laid the groundwork for the development of quantum mechanics, shaping the trajectory of modern physics. In recognition of his contributions, Bohr received numerous awards both during his lifetime and posthumously. His legacy is further immortalized through various honors, including the naming of the 71-kilometer-wide Bohr lunar crater and the 3948 Bohr asteroid. That's all for today. We'll be back soon with part 2, featuring the remaining scientists from our list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. Have you heard of the Bad Blood Study on African Americans, the Radium Girl's Tale, or the Superhumans built by Chinese scientists in labs? We've compiled the top 5 mind-blowing scientific blunders for you. Please watch it on our homepage.